that yeah okay <coughs> Dope. okay i think we're all set up we're uh, recording already so oh shit then I any dumb shit you just said uh you know just they can they can use that <sighs> against you in office they can use that against us in a court of law uh, i just dropped my phone on the floor um what's up anyone who decides to oh shit oh, yeah. oh it's still playing no. Stop. probably fix that get a new phone Stop, stop it. The screen broke. <laughs> I thought I hit. All right, boom. There we go. Phone on stop bed. Stop throwing it. I, I can't stop. Anyway, I'm. I think Ro- you just won't stop. Shut the fuck up. All right, introductions. I'm Roger. Yeah, I pointed to you I'm just so you can. Ocl. All right, and we got Jose. Jose. Uh, yeah, Jose over here. Welcome to our new podcast that will probably only be made once and then never again. We'll see. Called The Overanalyzer, where we talk about movies, any other dumb tangents probably. It's probably going to be like 15% the movie we watched and talked about and then like the rest, other dumb stories. How do you get to dictate what we say? See what I mean? Like we're already going off topic. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) So let's start off with the movie before we get off topic. For real. All right. So recently we saw Dunkirk on, what I want to say Monday, right? It was a Monday. This past Monday. It was a Monday. If listening to this, right, whenever you are, thank you for listening. I don't even care when you listen to it. But yeah, we saw it Monday. And what would you guys think? No spoilers, though, for right now. What would you guys think? It was a war movie, much like not a lot of other war movies. Like, how so? Or are you being ironic? I'm, I'm being ironic. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, you know, compared to other war movies of the recent time, it wasn't a lot like them. Mm-hmm. Like, it, like, like, it wasn't a lot like Jarhead, for sure. It wasn't... Well, I mean, Jarhead was more recent, though. No, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, as far as... You know, oh well, you mean in like in, in the setting, in setting, and the era, and all that jazz. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, with a movie like that, it uh, it walks the line of being historically accurate rather than being a Michael Bay flick or something like that. With Are a you lot of referring action. to that fucking like Facebook post that you saw? Uh, you'd have to. R- it really remind triggered me. you, didn't it? Oh it yeah. Basically, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> basically what happened, right, is because us three here are Nolan fans for sure, one hundred percent, which is why we saw the movie, even though we weren't completely sold on it. At least Jose and we, I. We gave it a shot. We gave yeah. it a shot. But um, <laughs> yep. one of my friends, who will rename anonymous for whatever reason, I don't know why, but he basically posted that he hated Dunkirk and it was, it just wasn't good, and that. I mean, he had numerous reasons why, because aside from the opening scene, he thought the rest of the movie just was boring and didn't have much going on in it. And he said that the uh, soundtrack had a clicking sound, which, I mean, it does. That's part yeah, of the soundtrack for it. But he said it distracted him from a lot, and it insisted upon itself. That's the first time I've heard that phrase actually being used correctly, is that it was insisting upon itself that it's tense or um, dangerous in certain parts and, like, telling you rather than making you feel is his biggest criticism but us nolan fanboys got offended and triggered and decided to be like yo fuck you motherfucker i mean i didn't say that because i don't know the guy yeah so, so we, we went to his house and we paid him a visit here's the video now no, i'm just kidding <laughs> 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 no, y- yo, you know what <laughs> i didn't i i i also felt like it started to insist upon itself i mean that's a fair point but you can also leave <laughs> this fucking house and podcast and go die i just want you to know that we're in my fucking house <laughs> So maybe you're the one who needs to go and die. Hey, man, don't, don't say that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, what was funny is, right, is, like, I completely disagree with him. And I was like, I don't want this to become a thing because this is just a movie. It doesn't really fucking matter. So I was like, hey, agree to disagree. He liked the comment, and it's basically at that, you know? But then one of my other friends, uh, Chaney, actually, he commented on it, like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not Michael Bay's fucking Transformers or – or uh, some other bullshit Batman for Superman where it's like, boom, boom, action all the time. Easy. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, he, I was like, I commented, dude, shut the fuck up. And then I was like, wait, I need to expand upon that. And I basically told him to, to shut the fuck up because we don't all have to like the same kind of movies and we can like and dislike these movies. And he made a valid point about criticisms about it. But, yeah, that's that story on the Facebook post that triggered all of us. Uh, <laughs> back to Dunkirk, though. I liked the opening scene a lot, though. Like Guy had mentioned, it was tense. Like it was just no dialogue, which is always super tense. Basically, like the, um, I mean, it's not hu- a huge spoiler. It's in the beginning of the movie. It's like three guys kind of like looking through like the Parisian streets, and then they hear gunfire, 
And then before you know it, like two of them are dead. Yeah, basically. Because you, you see like a group of them, you're like, they're not like going to make it out. Oh, shit, they're not. Oh, damn, they're dropping like flies. Fuck. And then only one of them makes it. And you're like, is he even going to make they, it? And they leave their rifles, too. Yeah, like because what happens? Yeah, he throws it over the fence. I'm like, that makes sense. That's a Mosin. Like, it's durable. You can do that shit. It wasn't a Mosin. It looked like it. No, they were British. Mosins are uh, Russian yeah, rifles. You're right. You're right. Um, it had that build though, like where like it was like the fixed magazine, the t- t- and the bolt so action. Basically, he threw it over just so he could they climb he, the yeah, fence. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Details, details, details. But he threw it over, and like his gun was jamming. So he, like he fired blindly into like the wooden wall that he was like hiding behind. Which and is dumb since they had machine guns. Yeah, and then like he just abandoned the rifle and just fucking booked it towards the beach. Yeah, and I was like, "Damn, what a way to start it off, though." Yeah. But um, yep, starting yeah. off the movie, I thought that was the ending. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was the <laughs> you, you thought like, oh, he was gonna like, get mementoed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weird thing, right? Is that um, this movie? It it is the most chronolog. I mean, not excluding the Dark Knight movies, and I guess in the it is the most chronological movie in the sense that there's a beginning and an end but there are some weird time jumps because it's broken into th- up into three perspectives the first one is the mole and that's for the perspective of the people on the beach trying to get off the beach yep. then it's the boats which is like the civilian boats that came and saved the so the troops from dunkirk and then the third right. one is the uh the royal air force pilots which are obviously the pilots that uh, provided the little air support they could provide and it i mean Honestly, like, there's some points, like, where it is kind of jumping back in time. Like, it's night, and then, oh, for the pilots, it's day. Like, where's the timeline for this? It was kind of a little confusing, but it didn't, for me personally, it didn't take away too much from it. Yeah, the, uh, I'm pretty sure that the first day on the beach has happened a day before the, the pilots even took off. Yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. Because they had, what, an hour's worth of fuel right at the beginning. They're like, oh, we got just. 45 minutes to film. Is that your Bane impression? Is Tom yeah. Hardy's? Bane? No. <laughs> you know what? Tom Hardy is in the movie. He's in uh, the movie. And, and he's, he's got he's a mask on. Yeah, so he does mask. sound like he's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. we, we have uh, a BF 109 on our flank. Like, do you think Do you think uh, Nolan has like a fetish now where he, like, he saw Bane like the uh, Bane mask and was like, this does it for me. Like he's never <laughs> shown his fucking face again. Like, he, just, he just wants Tom Hardy to, to make funny voices. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, it wasn't just Christopher Nolan movies. How Tom Hardy had the, what's it called, in uh, Mad Max. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, he had the thing, but he didn't speak. He was like a f- underwritten female character in Mad Max. To be fair, there's not <laughs> a lot of dialogue. Actually, you know what? What's funny is if you think about it, it kind of flips the script. Yeah, he the is. The script. Um, I mean, just because, like, the female character, like, you know her backstory for the most part. It's like, yeah, she was part of, like, this fucking tribe of, like, these warrior women in, like, the desert of Australia. And, like, she went to Scrotus Maximus or whatever his name was. No, it's yeah, Scrotus the, Maximus. The, his it's name is Scrotus. Scrotus Maximus. Scrotus Maximus. Scrotus Maximus. His name's in Mor- uh, Morton Joe. That's from the video game. It's and Morton Joe is yeah. from the... Oh, yeah, in the video game. It's, like, kind of, like, the same-looking characters. But one of them is Scrotus Maximum or some shit like that. Scrotus? Like, Scrotus. Like, Maybe Scrotus, Scrotus was his side guy. I don't know. I don't remember. Like, the it was the big dude with the big nipples and, like, the face mask. Anyway. Why is everything so BDSM-y in, in that movie? It's, it's a style. Yeah, I know. They, it's because they like to caution uh, restraint. Get it? Because it's like restraint, like BDSM. Because like it, they're restraining themselves, but it's like a double pun. On anyway, so um, <laughs> fuck Dunkirk, right? Yeah, I guess let's get back to that. You know about his uh, face fetish with the mask. No, you know what? Uh, uh, Tom Hardy always seems to like have weird voices in movies, like in Lawless, like. I can't understand half the things he says in that movie. Well, to be fair, man, Lawless wasn't that like in like the deep south during Prohibition, where it's like, well, I'll see the figures about moonshine. Did he really yeah. have to talk like Dale? A deep spoonful like of mama leg. I I never finished watching no, that movie. Yeah, yeah, like I saw, yeah. like I, I I watched it twenty. I watched like fifteen minutes of it, but Netflix wouldn't fucking clear up. Right, it kept like buffering and shit. And I was yeah. like, oh, screw this shit. You know, that's a good movie. I've heard it was, but like I won't know because Netflix kept being a little bitch. You could just rent it. They might block our and video spend now. money on a movie I could already watch on Netflix. What's wrong with me? Couldn't you just have Netflix like mail you a DVD? Yeah, yeah but they, you have to pay for that. that uh, you have to t- pay for that service too. Yeah, you have to pay separately for it. This world's changing. I, 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 I yeah. don't know this world anymore. Um, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, I mean, I guess. The weird thing about, like, 
Dunkirk because there's no real spoilers. You know what I mean? Because like it's a historical event. Well, I mean it's like I mean there's I spoilers. Think the ending the of the it, the three parts is it, it, the only spoiler really. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, Saving Private Ryan takes place during World War Two, but I mean there's a lot of spoilers. Yeah. Well, you know what? To be fair, that has way more creative liberty than I think Nolan. T- I mean Nolan took about as much creative liberty with Dunkirk as uh, Spielberg took with Saving Private Ryan. I because I mean well I mean I would I, I would agree. I mean, because both these movies are an event, right? Oh. And both these movies start off with another event within that event. You know, in Private Ryan, it's D-Day, Attack of Normandy. For Dunkirk, it's l- the evacuation of Dunkirk. But uh, Dunkirk focuses more on the event itself than, like, a story it's trying to tell. Right, that's true. It's, um... I mean, I get... I mean, but that, that is the story. You know, how these guys were just fucking trapped. Yeah. It's, uh... I mean, I think I think Nolan made a documentary as interesting as he could. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's not like a film. It's basically a documentary released in theaters. That everyone's gonna watch. Yeah, that motherfucker sold us a goddamn documentary. <laughs> a traumatized documentary. That's really what it was. You really think about it. I mean, yeah. It's. I mean, like he Ken Burns does. That's he really what he did, but with <laughs> actors. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, but um, right. So, I mean, I think the real tension is, like, there's 400,000 troops on Dunkirk and only 300,000 left, which is still a good number for, like, an evacuation. They only expected, like, they expected 30,000 at most. Yeah. So, for what they expected, they got a lot. They didn't get everyone, but they got a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, 100,000 some yep. odd troops died. They basically just said, fuck you to the French and, well, you know. Yeah. Except except they kind of, except one person didn't. But, anyway, no. Well, I mean, in the movie. In the movie. Uh, hey. Yeah, well, fucking in the movie, there's also a fucking fighter pilot that has its engines like completely shut off and takes down two planes on one fucking run. I, I thought it one. only took one. Yeah, I thought it was only one. I thought it was only one once That's his engine died. You know what? Those are spoilers. Oh, well, fuck. I guess we're in spoilers now. I don't think now. it'll matter. Yeah. Spoiler warning. All right, we're oh, wait. That should have been at the beginning. <laughs> For re- Well, I well, guess. Well, you could put it in the title of the video. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, I mean, yeah. Because I mean that's my biggest problem with like review things, right? It's like oh, a review for like Planet of the Apes. It's very broad and vague. Or is that like people complain about spoilers in a movie review? Like why would you watch a movie, review, watch a movie review and then like worry about spoilers? Well, because like, you want to know if the movie's good or not before you watch it. Well, I mean, so my thing is right is that it's the internet. It's not an article in like the New York or like the Transatlantic or whatever. It's the internet. The internet's famous for porn and spoiling things. You mean spoiling porn? Because that's what <laughs> it's doing. Yeah. So with movies, when they come out, you just have to. You just you kind of have to watch them. You have to. You have to watch it. You can't watch reviews because it's gonna be very vague, and that's something you already know. So when you go to watch that movie, you gotta take a chance and assume you'll enjoy it. And if you don't, then you just wasted like twelve bucks or something like that. Yeah, that's twelve dollars that I could have used to do anything else though. Or watch a different movie. Or watch a different movie. Well, precisely. I, mean, I feel like with movies nowadays, like the like theatrical releases, you either know you're gonna watch it or. Or you, you're gonna or wait. you won't. You know what I mean? I mean, because like you see trailers. The trailer is what's supposed to sell you on the movie, and trailers basically give away plot at this point. So trailers are spoiling movies about as much as like reviews are. If you aren't sold by a trailer, which I mean can happen because some trailers aren't perfect and they are misrepresentative of the movie. I mean, like how you just like won't watch the movie. When I watched Batman versus Superman, oh, dude, trailer. we're going on this. We're going on this. You're going on this right now. What I mean. All right, we'll go into I, this. I feel like I was misled. It, it gave you everything that you needed to know about the fucking movie, even the fucking doomsday thing. Yeah, I know. How were you misled? I was misled into thinking it was going to be a good you, movie. You're about to split our audience in half. Dude, for real. <laughs> 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 you know, I think we're here to tackle divisive issues. Oh, no, no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> about movies and pop culture. Yeah, That's divisive it. issues about movies and pop culture right. and how they might relate to our own world. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking civil war over here. Like, you pick sides. It's like, Batman yeah. for Superman was good. No, it wasn't. Look. I enjoyed it. Personally. This isn't the American civil war here, but, uh, you know, if I'm going to pick a side, it's going to be the winning side. You know, Batman for Superman still made a ton of money, right? Yeah. Box office. Yeah. So they're not very concerned about that. The thing is, no, right. I see. I, I mean, they only care about critical reception. Okay. They only care about box office. and crit- Well, okay. They only care about critical reception. If box office numbers aren't like destroying that, yeah. So, I mean, why do you think Michael Bay has a career? Yeah, and and see, that's a problem. I think you guys that 
that keep buying these movies are really are what making uh, DC movies worse. Have you seen Wonder Woman? Have no. You? Then you no. don't have a leg to fucking stand on. No, I need you to see Wonder Woman. You guys know on. that I haven't seen Wonder Woman and that I want to see this movie. Why haven't you? Why? Because I... Because you hate women. <laughs> Uh, come on, dude, that, dude, that that is a get, low blow. You're gonna get so many people going like, yeah, fuck this guy, man. Fuck Fucking dude. feminist, hating piece of shit, motherfucker. Hates DC. Won't even watch Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um, I want to watch Wonder Woman, and you hear that? He says he doesn't want to watch Wonder Woman. <laughs> I said I want to, but also I want to watch Spider Man Homecoming. I can't decide which honestly, one I want to watch. can go I'm, ahead and watch both. Yeah, honestly, as a Spider Man fan, and like my fir- that's my first superhero, and my that's my OG. I say watch Wonder Woman first. Think about it. There's only been one Wonder Woman movie. You've seen a bunch of Spider-Man movies. Yeah, that's true. In the true. end, I would say watch Wonder Woman first, and if you don't get to watch Spider-Man Homecoming in theaters, wait till it comes out or, or until I pre-order it for way too much money, and then I'll just show it to you. And then cancel it, and then go to get it at the store. Yeah. <laughs> I did that shit with Logan and John Wick, too. Why'd you pre-order it then? Well, I mean, because I had money at the time, and then like some bills piled up, and I was like, I need to cancel this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, things happen. Yeah. Um. So are we gonna go back to Dunkirk at all? I mean, I think I think we've said everything that needs to be said about Dunkirk. Yeah. I think that uh, as far as war movies go, it's a pretty good war movie in my yeah. opinion. In my opinion, I still think it's a good movie. Is it his best movie? My favorite movie from Christopher Nolan is The Prestige. It's in my opinion. I, that is a good that ass movie. Real, if if you pick like, that's a good movie to pick as your favorite Nolan movie. Like, if you pick Dark Knight Rises, I don't know what's wrong with you. If, if you, you pick, do? Yeah. Oh, they meant Dark Knight. Because here's the thing, right? Uh. Dark Knight Rises is not a bad movie. It's it, it says the thing about these directors. They don't have they don't really have bad movies. They just, have, they just have movies that are up to, like, the hype. But, yeah, no, if you choose, like, Prestige as, like, one of your favorite Nolan movies, that's a solid one. Like, that one or, I would say, Inception or The Dark Knight. It's got great structure. Yeah. Well, the one that has the best structure yeah. is uh, Batman Begins. Have, have you ever noticed the structure in Batman Begins? I think I only watched the movie once. Well, okay. For the most part, I think you remember it. But you know how movies technically ha- like, typically have three acts? Dude, I didn't even know that fucking Le- Liam Neeson was in that movie. Liam Neeson, you drunk motherfucker. You have half Bud Light. Liam you Neeson. Fucked. I didn't even know Liam Neeson was in that movie until three years later. For real? For real. Hey, was that's that bef- a coming Liam actor. Man. Was that before or after the Taken movies? That was before. Wow, so... Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know who you are. Yeah, he had some weird facial hair going on then yeah. too. Yo, well, that's because that's the Razal Ghoul facial hair. Oh, really? Is that, and, is that it? And the hair, yeah, yeah that's how the character looks like. Oh, see, I, di- I never read the comics. I mean, that's he's not as obscure now because like because of those movies and because right. of the shows using him and stuff like the TV shows. But before then, like no one really knew about him all that much because I mean, people only know about comic book characters, villains from their movies. Like, who really knows most of Captain America's villains? You know Red Skull? I guess the Winter Soldier sometimes. And okay, that's I t- I'll list like five to you. All right, I know Red Skull, Red Skull, the Avengers, and uh, I'll stop at three. I thought you were going to say actual names, and I was ready to call you like a Like I said, I, I don't know too much history. <laughs> I was on ready to call you a <laughs> fucking nerd. Okay, here here's a couple of Captain America's villains. Red Skull, mm-hmm. Hitler. True, uh, yeah. true. Uh, uh, uh. Communism? Communism. <laughs> Stalin. The U.S. government during the 80s, because that's when he became nomad. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and Bucky. Yeah, man. He's his Martha. Martha. Okay. <laughs> I hear Bucky, and then I become a 16-year-old again. 16-year-old girl. 16-year-old girl. I just wet myself. Is that what he says? Is no. That he says Why the fuck would he say that in a fucking movie? Um, no, I mean, Captain America's... Villains are obviously just anyone not from the Nazis. In the Anything 40s, anti-American. Right? Yeah, I mean, I guess so it was Im- like immigrants. Red Skull. <laughs> <laughs> Baron Zemo. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Is Red Skull an immigrant? No, he never tried. I mean, I guess. Well, I don't know. Is a is a super villain immigrant if he just comes in and tries to take over a country? Yeah. He's a war criminal. <laughs> he, he transcends <laughs> the immigration status. He's like, Im- immigrant, war criminal. Oh, fuck. Um... Yeah, but I was gonna go on uh, more uh, about the fucking villains for Captain America because I know a couple, but whatever, fuck me, right? Go, no, go but no, 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 no. Oh yeah, fine. go for it. No, well, I mean, I don't really know that many is a thing. So there's obviously the Red Skull. There's uh, Baron Zemo. Oh, that's that's why Captain America is so against all these aliens like from outer space coming. 
Baron Zemo. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Damn. I mean, it just it makes so much sense now. You know, you know, there's all these. <laughs> There's all these aliens attacking New York. Yo. <laughs> imagine if, imagine if they didn't fucking die, right? It's like they didn't <laughs> die after the mothership blew up. You have all these prisons. What do we do? Send them to the camp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. man. It's a dark. Yeah. In an alternate universe, there is a movie where uh, they are sent to a camp in these movies. Yeah. Well, actually, in the comics, there's like a weird interdimensional like prison called like Prison 52 or something. Do they gas like them? That. Then it is not the same. I mean, some. I mean, well, I mean, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> it's it's a prison in another dimension, right? Yeah, in the or in not the, the negative zone. That's the DC, right? No, I I don't know. Mm. There there are uh, oh, oh god, really close to your oh mic. my god, Just call it the upside down like in. Uh, I mean, it's it's basically like the negative zone from DC. If yeah. those are from DC, if not, it's from Marvel. There are a lot of guys out there, a lot of Marvel and DC guys who who would totally know. Yeah. And so sorry if we're fucking it up, right? You know what's really funny, right? Is I talk to people about like the fucking comic comic book movies, and since I've read a couple of comic books in my life, and like not that many, but like I've skimmed the surface, like they ask me like, "Oh yeah, the movies like kind of like how the comics are." I'm like, "Yeah, well, technically the virtual virtual was like one of Spider-Man's first villains, and in the comics he, he just has wings, but now he just has like mechanical things." And they're like, "Wow," which that's more modernized. Yeah, so. they're like, "Wow, no wonder you hadn't had sex until you're 25." I'm 24. Um, <laughs> No, but like they just like you fucking nerd. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck me. Well, you fucking know all about the characters from Love and Hip Hop in Atlanta, motherfucker. What's Is that really better? Probably not. I, I would say that that's worse. I mean, yeah. Okay. So my thing, right, is like with those reality shows and stuff that, like, I mean, are kind of scripted. Like, is it really any worse? Kind of scripted. Th- yeah, they're scripted. They're pretty scripted. For the most part, they're scripted. I mean, they made a show about a show that scripts live uh, reality TV. Yeah. That's pretty meta. No, but my <laughs> question, right, is that, like, these are still basically stories being told. Is that really all that bad? Like, is that, like, it's the difference between reading, like, let's say a Twilight book, which is a very easy to digest book, mm, see? and something like Dante's Inferno, which is, like, what is that? It's, like, it's, like, this heavy, like, thick, yeah, dense book. Yeah, see. But it's being century. it's but it's being sold as reality. That's the problem. They're trying to I mean, feed you as reality. They're trying to tell you that th- it's, it's like they're trying to force an atmosphere upon you. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, mean, is that any worse than like the Blair Witch doing that, or like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like from the seventies doing that? I as yeah long, yeah. I mean, just as I, long I would no say yes cam. because it's on it's on TV everywhere. There's all these people who are just buying into it, and they think, you know, that this this is what life could be for them and and that they could get you know away with bullshit like this all the time i mean in that in that um vein of thought though would fantasy be any better than that like i think game no of because shit. you know it's fantasy that's the difference it's not being sold as this is a reality i mean like, yeah i guess it's, it's that. you know when you watch game of thrones you go okay well i guess the show's you know, got real people in it, but you know it's a fictional story, a fictional narrative. The dragons set. aren't real. You know? That's m- the main reason why. Yeah, it, it, and magic, and but but incest is real though. Yeah, but, it's very real. <laughs> but that's the thing; it's not it's not being sold as reality. This could be your reality, or this is somebody who's kind of like you's reality. I mean, don't get me wrong. I won't, wouldn't be caught dead watching it. Like one time, like we went over to, should we shout out who watches this? Frank. Fuck it. Frank. We went over to Frank's house. Shout out to you. Yeah, thanks. If you listen to this, Frank, and this deep into the podcast, you're a real one. Wow. For if real. you listen to this We part. owe you a beer. <laughs> if, Yo, you listen. Re- if you listen to this and you hearing me say this, thank you. And we owe you a beer. The code word for a free beer, Frank, is flukelhorn. Or I got a better one for you. Get your dick wet. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Okay, for real though, like, I told him that like I wanted your character to have that as your your catchphrase in the web series okay. we're gonna do. Anyone that's not listening to this, that I mean, you are listening to this obviously, but anyone that doesn't know, because I don't think we told anyone, we're doing a web series based around us because we're so creative and we think we're so funny. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that. I mean, literally everyone has different names aside from Jose. His character is just Jose. But I don't I get ro- that. It, honestly, it's, it's like that one actor whose name is Hector in every single movie. Your name is basic enough that I don't really have to change it. Oh, my God. It's like having a script with a dude named Steve, and then you cast a guy that's also named Steve, and you're like, that's fine. You know? It's, like it's not like – Anyway, my point is – You can't change it to something equally as generic. 
I'm know? not going to change it to Alberto or like Juan. Actually, Juan Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's just Jose. Because you think like, oh, that's a Jose. That's, that's uh, a Jose. Okay, okay fine. Anyway, Whatever. but no, one of the lines I want him to have a catchphrase is get your dick wet. And I want to have like a printed, dude, you got to stop hitting the fucking mic stand. I wish I had a boom mic. Yeah. I guess I just got to stand closer. Yeah. Or you can push up the mic farther away so you don't have to be so close to the stand. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Anyway, I, guess that works. I want it like I want this to be a catchphrase and I want his like dumb face with like a thumbs up. Like just saying get your dick wet like as a caption. And you don't want that. Why? No, I don't want that because it's it's dumb. It's, it's not going to hurt your political and career. And it's my you. name. You see, you don't even bother to change my name. That's what that's what gets me. Okay, what the if guys I change your name to did not change their names? Yeah, for real. If you actually if you watch Workaholics, they're all named what they are in real life. Everybody in the show, most mostly everybody in the okay, show. Okay, here's okay, okay, okay. So if if I either change your name or we all go by our own names, will that make you more open to the idea of saying get your dick wet? Which I mean, pill I still will you don't, take? I still don't want to say that. All right, then don't give a bullshit excuse like it's my name though. Don't don't feed that to us. Yeah. Okay, but. That's I'm on a I'm it. on a no it's bullshit diet it's and that's <laughs> not part and I can't. You're on that. a no bullshit diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, is it is it that bad? Like, here's the thing. Initially, you're gonna say it like just stone face, like get your dick wet, and you'll be like, what the fuck, and react as if like we're better than that. And that might be what it is. What if we just react like we're like, yeah, get your dick wet, and we all do it. What if it's all of us going like, hey. With the caption, get your dick wet. You know that it's just, you, who's our audience, and does our audience actually want us to say get your dick wet? Twelve year olds and fuck yes. I mean, what if the catchphrase was changed slightly? I uh, maybe get your dick wet. Oh, no, no, oh, that's, this, this <laughs> that's copyrighted. This is it. Yeah, this is it. It's, a, no. it's keep your dick wet. Keep, keep your, your dick, dick wet. That's like half copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> it, I can't. I can't get behind that. I just, I can't. Oh, it, uh, it, uh, it gets in the way of your views, huh? It, it gets in the way of my feministic views. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> you know, it, this web series is going to get a lot of heat from feminists. Just you watch. I mean, dude, like, I, like, you, like, okay, so. We like, promised to somewhat satisfy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Here's I don't think that's even what they're about. Here's the thing, right? It's, it's, that's a weird thing about, like, doing comedy. Is that, like. That comedy comedians and feminists are kind of like cats and dogs, like like Captain America in the Red School. They're kind of like natural born enemies, but not really. peanut butter and jelly. Wait, nope. Yeah. A peanut butter and sardines. Orange soda and toothpaste. Yeah, o- orange juice and toothpaste. Either one. Orange juice and toothpaste. Yeah. Like I don't know, man. Like, cause you can like, cause like censored. Like, it's so fun to say. Hey, Censored. <laughs> Censored. Do like a real political career for once in a while. But, um, and that's offensive because it's a direct trade war towards women. I mean, unless we don't publish this. Yeah, we'll publish this. But then what's the point? Yeah, then what's the point of doing this? What but I, You know, to get some mic time, to get used to talking into a microphone and hearing the sound of your own voice for a while. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, no, another word I'd like to say that is technically taboo. Censored. Censored. Yeah, you can't take censor. that. Why'd you say it then? Do you want me to censor it? No. <laughs> no, you're not going to censor shit. I can censor it. Yeah. You know what another word that I like to say If you too? actually heard it, he didn't censor it. No. Um, you know what another word I like to say too that's actually really offensive? You're going to say it? Perra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's basically bitch in Spanish. Oh, shit. I forgot your mom's like outside. <laughs> that's okay. The door's locked. The AC's going. You know, it's it's hard to hear. The drinks are loose. We don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah, I yeah. just get us otra pinche balai, by the way. I mean, we'd have to go to the kitchen. We should have brought a couple oh, yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, okay, so. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, right? Are you, you nervous, dog? I Yeah. Knees weak, palms heavy, sweaty. Spaghetti. He's mostly <laughs> sweaty. I'm mostly sweaty. <laughs> Mom, um, spaghetti. You know, the air conditioning is blasting in here, and it's probably about 70 degrees, but Roger's North pretty North. nervous. No, but anyway, so I was going to say, that's the thing about putting shit on YouTube, right? Is It's going to offend someone, regardless. Like, you put a, pic, a fucking video of a turtle dancing in the water, like, underneath the sink, and it's like, yo, that's you know, animal cruelty. You know, that was a cute video. It is a cute-ass video, but there's someone down there that's like, that's animal cruelty. Why are you making that turtle do that shit? You know, 
because we're not people pleasers. We aren't people pleasers. You know what's funny is <laughs> there's an entertainment thing where the goal is to please people, to please people, and we're like we're not people pleasers though. But we're but we want to entertain them. I think I'll please them. I think um, we are people pleasers. Just uh, we can't please everybody to, to a limit. Yeah. You know we can't. Uh, you can't. I only got two hands. I can't jerk off three dicks at the same time. Yeah. Technically, you know, like you mouth can. is off limits. Yeah. Well, this no, that's is not, this that's not jerking off at that point. That's this, a blowjob. Yeah. Exactly. This is it's for close God. Close enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, did you say this is for God? This is for God. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't kiss God. You know. <laughs> You know, I, ca- I, Yo, I the only thing ca- that goes in this mouth is communion, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, you and know, sacramental I, wine. We can't, we can't please everybody. You know, we only have so many, so many holes and, and hands. Into, and we're not into feet stuff, so we can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we know a guy who is though. Yeah, and uh, it's fine. Well, it's he's fine. a very salty guy. Oh my god. Yo, I think I've asked this right, but I forget. Um, girl offers you a foot job. Do you accept it? Me? Yeah. M- sure. Yeah. What about you? I'm going to say no. You're going to say no? You to wouldn't say yes? I, I wouldn't say you know yes. What, to be fair, to be fair, he does have a girlfriend right now. So, like, the chances to get stuff is not as, like, far and few in between that it is for you and me. Well. I mean, think about it because we're both single, right? Okay, yeah. Like, by the way, ladies, we're single. If you can already tell that. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time you hear this, uh, you probably still are. Fuck you. Uh. Anyway, um, no, but. I mean, for you and I, like... If Luckily, girl, no one will ever hear this. Because that's the thing, right? If a girl, like, offers you anything sexual, for the most part, like, if she's cute and you kind of have a connection, you're like, all right, fuck it. I'm ready to make a mistake. Um, <laughs> but apparently, like, I mean, I guess we all have our lines. So maybe that's just what it is. Maybe... I mean, it's like a foot job is basically, like, is the same thing as a hand job with a different part of the body, you know? Well, it's like, it's I mean, not she's got to use, it's not she's you use want, two feet. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a hand job with more effort. That, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say about I, no, foot I jobs? don't have anything to say about this. I'm, I'm waiting until we go on to the next topic. Just, right. ta- just talk about foot jobs for a second. I, yeah. I have nothing foot to say jobs, about foot jobs. Foot jobs. You know, but what if you found a beautiful soul? <laughs> <laughs> what if she had a beautiful soul? <laughs> yeah. oh, you keep hitting my fucking mic stand. You know, it, I don't, I'm the only guy without a boom here. Which, thank you for taking in for the team. Boom. Boom. As I whack it again. Yeah. Oh, hold on, I got a Snapchat. From who? Oh, it's from Katie. Oh. Uh, I guess she's annoyed at her sister or something. Oh, yeah, I got that one from a while back. Yeah. yeah. I just looked at it. Yeah. Fucking. Yo, who else was, like, tripped out by that ghost mode on, like, not ghost mode, the fucking location thing on Snapchat? I, I'm pretty tripped out. Um, Even though you, get, you guys don't have it on. I, I, I turned it on already. Oh. Because I wanted to show someone how far away I am from them. And how I would not be able to get food from them unless they could blow me. And they said no. So I was like, all right, then no. Huh? You know who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. And also, if you're listening this deep into the podcast, thank you. You're a real friend. <laughs> uh, here's the code word for uh, a free beer. A uh, free beer. It's foot job. Please thank you. <laughs> 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 I, it's only topical. It's only top. It's only like it's. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, wait, can I recite that code word yeah. for free beer myself? No. No. No? No. <laughs> it's only specific to the person. You're a part of the podcast. But if I listen to it, that's, a, that's one listen. That's why we said yeah. That's a whole listen. listen. Yeah, that's why we said a specific person, not, Oh, you know. who's, who's supposed to, who's the code word for that? <laughs> Stephanie. But oh, okay. okay. Remember, because, like. Okay, I'm black. Because she puts on, yeah. Okay. Because she what? Because she posts on Snapchat, like, if anyone loves me, bring me food. And I was like, <laughs> no. You're going to suck my dick? Then no. You said no. Yeah. Uh, so she said no. But hey, do you want me to delete that, by the way? No. There's nothing. Th- the le- the less you edit of this, the better. Because you edit these? You're yeah, you're technically, <laughs> you so edit like these? you're technically supposed to edit stuff like this. Like, if, like, he hits the mic like this, like, you're supposed to edit well, that out. Well, now we have to edit that. You're saying that we have to edit, we have to edit that. Yeah, no, actually, you don't have to because I use it as an example. So you have to keep it in. Otherwise, people will be like, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh, but now people are going to think we have a low budget. Oh, shit, we got Kermit in here now. Hey guys, I just wanted to join in, uh, get your thoughts, uh, tell me what's up. What's up? What's up? No, I'm asking you what's up. Uh, I don't know. Should we, should we get a guest caller, guys? A guest caller? Holy shit. All right, who would we call to guest on the podcast? I don't know. Here, I, do you, you, know you want to look through your phone or should I just look through mine? I mean, my phone's on the bed and I don't feel like getting up to get it. Oh, you're going to get it for me? That's dope. All right, I'm just going to check Snapchat right. real quick. 
Um, why don't you just call it Zach or something? Oh, okay. You know what? That that is a stand up guy right there. Yeah. Also, is he working right now or not? I you know, I think he's jobless at the moment. He's in between jobs. That's what oh. I meant to say. Yes, I believe he is in between jobs. Why is he in between? Well, I guess we can ask him. The movie Baby Driver, if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. My personal opinion. Hey, hey what's up, Zach? Oh, wait, you can't hear me. Hey, why do you always call me and then it make, you make it sound like you didn't mean to? No, we did <laughs> call you on purpose. Yeah. Oh, okay, what's up? We're taking guest callers on the podcast. What? We're, we're doing a podcast right now and we're taking guest callers. Okay, so I'm your first guest caller? Yes. yes. You're the first one we thought about. You were our Techni- first choice. <laughs> Technically second. You were our first choice. Yeah. Technically second. What do you mean Who second? Who was the first one that we thought of? It's me, guys. Oh, yeah, Kermit. Oh, well, right. That's right. We have Kermit here also, oh, Zach. Yeah. Uh, but um, if you want to ask Kermit any Kermit? questions, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah, Kermit the Frog. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to hear Kermit the Frog's voice. So um, about three weeks ago, about three, week, about three weeks ago, I came into town and I saw some friends that I hadn't seen in a while. First thing I said to them, uh, I said, stay woke. <laughs> it's uh, dangerous out in these streets. And, uh, yeah, I just uh, I'd wanted to meet up with these friends. They're bums. They just came from the other city. Cities uh, pay other cities to take bums. I don't know. Not my thing. And, yeah. Anyway, anyway, that was Carmen. So, okay, so I'm your first caller. So what, does, what do callers do... On your, on your podcast. They restrain dogs. So, so we uh, here's here's what's here's what's up. We wanted to ask our guest, our guest caller, what he thought of Christopher Nolan's latest movie, Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Ooh, as someone who has seen this movie, um, I can tell you that um, honestly, my favorite part was when the um, Iraqi soldiers on their sandboat. Uh, took over uh, Dunkirk, which is a air fortress. Um, yes, uh-huh. And, and honestly, it was very moving. It brought me to tears. I really didn't think that, you know, a gang of misfit soldiers um, and their, their plucky dog sidekick, Patches, it's because he's got patchy fur. You're the worst! Uh, in case you haven't seen the movie. Um but it really tears at the heartstrings when, when, you know, that bullet is coming for uh, Reginald B. Johnson. Yes, yes, um, of course. And uh, <laughs> then Patches jumps right in front of it. But little did you know, he had a bulletproof vest on. I, uh, you know so, what? I mean, do you, like, do you want me to rate it? Yeah, please, please rate it. Well, like... Can it be a scale out of anything? Uh, a scale of 1 to 10, for, for clarity's sake. Okay. I would probably give it, like, 7... I don't know. It's like, I'm torn. Because I want to say it's, it's easily 7 um, Saving Private Ryan out of 10. But at the same time... I think it's like a, you know, more like a like a nine uh, Black Hawk Downs out of ten. Nine Black Hawk is is it because it's uh, based in a more, uh, uh, you know, uh, and any day though. Let me find the uh, words. Any uh, day now. Uh, 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 Today, uh, Junior. I uh, is it because the movie is based during World War Two in a in a bygone era, whereas. Um, Black Hawk Down takes place well, more recently. Well, I, I don't know. See, what I'm based on expectation. Um, I thought Black Hawk Down was going to be a movie about, you know, saving endangered birds. Whereas <laughs> Dunkirk, I thought it was going to be a Star Trek porno. How did you get Star Trek porno out of that title? Yeah. Well, because first. Kirk is at the end of it, and then done, which meant like he got done, which means he put two and two together. Yeah. You know, you know <laughs> that, that is definitely equal to four right there, yeah. which is what so we I are mean, right now. So I, I had to get past that initial disappointment that it wasn't going to be a pornography of, of 
the a I would argue not the best battle. Star Trek captain, but I mean, then then when I found out it was a World War II movie, I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then you know, but I mean, Black Hawk Down's just an okay movie. That's why it's like nine of those movies. Oh, it's nine of them. I thought it so, was. So are you basically saying that it's less than an okay movie? No, he's saying it's nine um, Black Hawk Downs. Like, it's nine of them combined. Yeah. I would rather watch Dunkirk once than Black Hawk Down. Nine, nine times. times. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay, are you saying you'd rather, rather watch it nine times more than Black Hawk Down? Yes, is uh, exactly what I'm saying. You but know, th- this is all a little confusing to me. It really is, and I failed math. Well, I mean, failed what math? You called Everything. Me. I, I, wanted, I didn't even graduate. If you wanted clarity in, in my statements, you should have called someone who, one, saw the movie, and two, um, <laughs> I knew you didn't fucking watch the movie. Well. I knew it. You, you, didn't, you didn't realize that 20 seconds into his rant? I, I mean, I did, five I, seconds? I, I mean, five I, seconds? I did, but I didn't <laughs> want to believe it. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that uh, our friend Zach here, he's a master gaslighter. I don't. I don't do that. Um, yeah, he was, was on that fishing trip. Like, but I first like he to was say that one. I don't do that, and two, um, I have a master's degree in film studies, and that's why they're calling me. You bullshitter! I. You know I don't know Man, what to say to such a blatant him. lie. You know. Do you not believe it because no one in their right mind would get a master's degree in movie studies? You know, I think you're because insulting a good part of our audience now. For real. <laughs> you know, I I want to say one, how dare you? And two, I bet I can figure out at least two people who have that degree. Who? I've got a phone and I've got time. I could figure it. I could figure oh, it you, out. But that's, that's for right. the most part, I have that degree and I am very knowledgeable in movies. I see. I'm like a talking um that one guy. A talking great movie. Like, he can't talk anymore because he's got that thing going on with his stuff. Stephen Hawking? No, that's a scientist. Shit. He's a movie review a movie critic. Can't talk anymore. He got like throat cancer. Oh dang! Can't even. Bug. That's so awful. He's like, it, it's like he he like rates all good movies. It's like if you search a movie on Google, one of his re- like his numbers on it. He's like the most popular one. I Roger can't Ebert. His name. I can't remember his name. Is, is it Roger Niebert or Ebert? Ebert. That's it. Yeah, Roger, Roger Ebert. Yeah, yeah. dude, if, if you've read any that of guy. his, like, uh, if you've read any of his, like, reviews, like, he's brutal with his reviews. I forget what movie well, it was, but, like... you can only read them now. You used to do them on, on, in videos, but now you can only read his reviews. Can't, can't they, like, you know what? He should hire someone that sounds like him and just, you know, like, hire him to read everything. You know, he'll, he'll write it down, but this guy will say it. I wonder if that would cost too much, though. So, so what else is your first caller supposed to do? Like, uh, well, we're gonna play a game, and it's called okay. "Goodbye, Sir." <laughs> Bye, Zach. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> and that was our first caller, guys, Zach. All right. Although on that note, on that movie reviewer, I looked up some of his um, worst roasts on movies. And let me see. Okay, so here's one for uh, uh, Joe Dirt. If you remember, Joe Dirt was a movie with uh, what's his name? What's Dave, his name? David Spade. David Spade, one of the best from SNL. He's okay. One of the very most average now. Yeah, he Macaulay Culkin. He looked okay back then, but now he looks like shit. I guess everyone's up and roar about Macaulay Culkin looking hot again, though. Did yeah. You, did huh. you hear about that? I did. All right, so here's a review for Joe Dirt. We professional movie critics count it a banner week. 
when only one movie involves eating, falling into, or being covered by excrement, or a cameo appearance by Carson Daly. We are not prudes. We are prepared to laugh. But what these movies do, what these movies, including Joe, Joe, Do, Joe Dirt, often do not understand is the act of being buried crap is not in itself funny. Well, I guess that's whatever. Okay, one woman or two. Here's his review. Add it all up. And what we got here is a waste of good electricity. And I'm not talking about electricity between the actors. I'm talking about the current of the projector. I win. <laughs> Fuck, right? All right? There's a lot of salt there. This is the first Joe Dirt? Uh, yeah, he's talking about the first Joe Dirt. Because the most recent one came out kind of recently. Mm, that was about like... They made years. another three, Joe Dirt? It was three years ago, I think. Yeah. Wait, they made another Joe Dirt? Yeah. There's a Joe Dirt 2 Rednecks on Ice. I don't know why it'd be on Ice. The, oh. the, the Sexcapade? It's called Joe Dirt 2, Beautiful Loser. Oh, yeah. I think my subtitle's way better. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's the one for Freddy Got Fingered. Do you guys remember Freddy Got Fingered? Yeah, well, Freddy, I know would you what like it some is. Some I, I don't remember that movie. It, you, you're not missing much, honestly. Oh, okay. no, so here's his review for it. This movie does not scrape the bottom of the barrel. This movie isn't the bottom of the barrel. This movie isn't below the bottom of the barrel. This movie doesn't deserve to be mentioned in the same sentence with barrels. Got a lot of salt on that one. Oh. Yeah. All right. I. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. That's some of his reviews. But yeah, no. There's. I found another list. Some. It was probably Garth Humo. Honest. Like yeah. where he's just like ripping into those movies. Oh, college humor. Yeah. Remember when they used to be great? Yeah, I do. About ten years ago. Yo, man. Have they been around that long? They, I mean, they still make videos now. If anything, maybe in 2009. I don't know. Wait, have they yeah. really been around 10 years? About, maybe. yeah. Holy God. Yeah. Um, you know what's weird? It's like some celebrities now kind of got their start in YouTube slash notoriety from it. Like Donald Glover, right? He was on Derek Comedy, which was, I mean, a thing of college humor, but like from back in the day. I, I remember Derek Comedy. I remember the keyboard. Keyboard kid? <laughs> My dad's going to beat me if I mess up. Cool, all right. Cool, all right. Kick it, cool, all right. Kick it, kick mom. Cool, all right. Not, 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 not my real dad. All right. Cool, all right. Can't run away. He'll find me. Cool, can't run away. He'll find me. Cool, all right. Damn. No, but those were some good clips. Yeah. No. Um. But no, Donald Glover was also in the spelling bee one. The one where like they say the word that's like two derogatory slurs. I don't remember that one. I'm not going to say the word. Okay. If you're trying to trick me into saying it, I'm no, not I'm going not trying to, to trick you. But I just don't remember that that skit at all. I'll show it to you later. Okay. But those who don't remember it, just look it up. Derek Comedy Spelling Bee. It's fucking great. Um, but yeah, no. Now, uh, I mean, after that, he got a job on Thirty Rock from that. Then from Thirty Rock, he got Community, and he'd been doing music in between, so like releasing that shit. Then he blew up on both on Community and his music, and now he's like on the fucking Han Solo movie. And I got he's on the Han Solo movie. Yeah. yeah. He's Jeez. Lando Cal- Calrissian. The f- and he's playing Simba in the new Lion King movie. But you know, that that is a man who, no matter how thin he seems to spread himself, he just gets it all done, dude. Dude, for real. Yeah. Fucking, this has been going on a while. I thought we were going to have a lot more dead space. There was a lot of dead space. Um, and in fact, that was a pretty good game, too. I think your mom's coming, I, yeah. I, I think it's... I, uh, just say, yeah. See? Th- see? No. Nico, see? No. See? Uh, okay. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to eat tostada soon, folks. Yeah. But yeah, Dead Space was a good game. Well, let's let's do one quick movie, no matter how uh, intense it gets, without debating whether it's good or bad. Let's not... Make it the Suicide about, Squad. about superhero. No, let's not make it about superheroes because okay. it's the two on. It's a two on one. Yeah, but you know what? You're gonna defend it to your dying breath. That's the thing. <clears throat> and you're a big guy. All right, fine. I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right, Suicide Squad was complete fucking shit. <laughs> it's your opinion, my friend. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so like yeah. Let's make opinion, this real man. civil. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. What were you gonna? What movie were you gonna have us uh, debate? Event Horizon. Event Horizon. Oh, my God. No, guys, don't watch that movie. If you guys haven't watched that movie and you're not prepared for, like, bullshit, bullshit. Like, it's just, oh, my God. It's so bad that it's not. it can't even be good bad. It's just bad, bad. Ugh. 
Like, you think, like, uh, what's his name? Lawrence Fishburne is a good actor. Watch that movie. He's, he is like, you think it was his first Which movie. one's Event Horizon? The one with uh, Lawrence Fishburne and the dude from Jurassic Park. Uh, oh, I remember. They were talking about it and, in, in like, relating it to Interstellar about the black hole stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. It was there, Lawrence Fishburne? There was some black hole stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, but that just sounds like a Saturday night for me. Uh, wow. Ad- another movie that Lawrence Fishburne was really good you know in. You know what a Saturday night for you is? Yes, you jerked him off. Anyway. An- movie another movie that yeah. Lawrence Fishburne was really good in. Was that movie? Uh, Boys in the Hood? Boys in the Hood was good. Mm-hmm. Boys in the Very Hood. Very good character. You know, I haven't seen that movie in so long that I don't remember any of it. You know, that's one of the movies that, like, the substitute teacher that realizes he's in a ghetto-ass school puts on. Because he's like, you guys will like this because it's like your environment, right? And it'll uh, inspire you to be better. Try to pu- trying to push an agenda. Exactly. Exactly. Because like that's the point I'm trying me, to get like, to. Or, like, st- not stand by, but, like, stand and deliver or, uh, what was that other one? See, um, guys, you got to pick a movie I've seen. Oh, uh, I got one. Yeah. Blood in, Blood Out. Dude, oh, that was a good movie. dang, that was a good movie. Is it because we're all brown? It's because we're, we're mostly brown. Well, yeah. and, and there was we're that one. We're different shades of brown. We're different the, shades. The, the main character was like, he was a, he was a little he was a little gringo, you know. Well, he was half because his dad was, was white was and his mom was like Hispanic. Yeah. Because his dad wanted that brown bunny. He, but then he forgot to pull out and he's like, ah, shit. Yeah, 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 that's what that was. Yeah, uh, that's what that sound was. You know what's weird is uh, <laughs> describing that that movie to people that aren't Hispanic. Uh, cause like, cause it's a g- it's a gang movie is how I gang- would describe I it. I mean, it's a gang movie, right? But like, it's culturally, it's like, it's for sure a movie that. Like, it's also a cultural movie, yeah. It's, real, it's, a good movie. it's trying to push an it's agenda. A, it's also it's I also mean, it is. It's also a way to explain how prison is and how it works. Yeah. I, I think that's a. I forget. Did he get raped in that movie? No. Somebody did though. Somebody got raped? Who we'll got raped? I mean, it's a prison. It's Someone a prison. Some, like if they want to be realistic, no, somebody so has what? to get raped. So, uh, spoilers, if you haven't he, seen this did movie. Did he get Shawshanked? No. You know, if you, got, you haven't seen Shawshanked. He no. got Shawshanked, if man. You, if you haven't seen Sha- oh, like Shawshanked over no, and If you over, haven't man. seen either one of these movies, Shawshank or uh, Blood, Blood and Blood Out, out spoilers. One of the main characters goes to uh, jail after they, they kill like a gang member. Because they and get blood shot. Out, blood out. Yeah, because they get shot and the police catch him. They're like, all right, fuck it, let the police take us. But they <laughs> make sure my cousin doesn't die. But that cousin goes to jail, and he goes to jail and he like he like he doesn't really fit in, but he like gets in with the Mexican gang. The Mexican gang takes out the Aryan Brotherhood leader that's like in charge of the kitchen. And you know what he what says? he has to do is uh, basically like pretend like he wants to like fuck that dude. He has to pretend like he's gonna suck his dick, and then he stabs him in the stomach. It's hard. His so dick. so really quickly, let's do that one part in Blood and Blood Out when he's like. Why don't you just speak into the yeah. mic? I can hear and you. And I'll, and I'll do Kermit. So. What? How does the line go again? Give, give me your pork chop. Give me your pork chop. No, go. I thought you wanted my pork chop. I thought you oh. wanted my pork chop. I thought you wanted my pork chop. I don't want his pork chop. I want his life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is if you just if you did that same voice, try to sound a little tougher. Yeah, 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 exactly guys, guys. That movie's like. about the hood, not Sesame Street. <laughs> Sesame Street so is, is a dangerous so street nowadays. Well, hold on. What? What is Elmo's? Ha! No, I can't do it. <laughs> The letter the the letter of the day is D as in drive by guys. <laughs> oh shit. The letter of the day is F as in fully automatic Uzi. Brump. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't. I don't mean to bring the sky into this. <laughs> Quit trying to push your agenda. Chaka. Yeah. Chaka. Uh, hold on. Let me just pick up this podcast. <laughs> um. Okay. So I think that's that's just about everything, right? We half like dipped our toes into everything and not fully discuss anything yeah you know that sounds like most podcasts exactly have you ever listened to a podcast that actually tries to go into something it's a fucking lecture it's like did I am I in fucking school the school of life man school of hard knocks the school of hard knocks thank you for listening to our podcast Um, I've been Roger I've been Asael I've been Jose and we thank you for listening again if you've listened this long to our first disastrous podcast Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, where are we going to put this up? Basically anywhere. SoundCloud. I, I SoundCloud. I mean, yeah. it, it, it the shouldn't be too hard for iTunes. YouTube. Oh, the channel. Are we going to do it on the yeah. Mad films? Oh, by the way, actually, that reminds me. You really so want to put that on there? I thought this wasn't that serious. Well, it's called the, the, over-analyzer. the Overanalyzer. Right, which is the name of the podcast, if you haven't mentioned it in the beginning. But anyway, so stop breathing with the mic. <laughs> anyway, dude, stop. <laughs> My brother over here, Asel, he, uh, him and his friend Bryant, 
filmed a movie called Peels, and they're in production right now. So check out that channel and their Instagram, Be Mad Films, for updates when that's going to be released and for screening info because that's going to be coming out real soon, and uh, we're all really proud of it. Each one of us had a part in it. Asel was obviously the director, writer, editor, producer. D- how many more hats do you want me to put on you? I'll go buy some. I'll, I'll go get some right, more cool. later. And then Jose and I did the music. I was also kind of a producer, I guess. I'm just giving myself more credit than I deserve. A cameo in the movie. Yeah. Uh, I Jose, had Jose had, had a, a part extra in the movie. Parts. Yeah, Jose was an extra in the movie. Anyway, thank you for listening to our podcast. Uh, we hope you listen to the next one. Should we be able to do the next one? All right. Thank you. Break. Break. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. Oh, Does that really hurt? Yeah, a little bit. It's loud. That, that's so then you guys know when to cut it. Yeah, I guess.